What's up guys, Andrew Vena here, and on today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at an Ormsby Guitars Hype Guitar 8-string. This thing is an absolute beast. I have it tuned to double drop D tuning, which is super low. As always, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the specs of this instrument and show you tons of sound examples, but before I get to that, I'm gonna show you what this thing sounds like in a full band mix. For this full mix test, I was using the bridge pickup for the distorted rhythm tones and the neck pickup for the clean tones that you're gonna hear. All of the bass guitars were recorded by my homie, Trey Watson, so go check him out. His link is gonna be in the description below. And this is a sample of a song by Issues called Tapping Out. This is how this guitar sounds in a full mix. So now that you guys have heard how this guitar sounds like in a full mix, I'm gonna go over the specs of this instrument and show you guys some other sounds that it can make. This guitar has a swamp ash body, a laminated rock maple set neck, which has a thin D shape. The fretboard is ebony, the fret wire is jumbo stainless steel, the nut is bone, it's got a Z pattern inlay. It also has lumen lay side dots, which glow in the dark. The hardware color is black and the bridge and locking tuners are both Ormsby's own hardware. The pickups are also Ormsby's own pickups, which are called the Hot Rock A8 humbucker and the Dillacrem A2 neck humbucker. And it also comes with a hard shell case. Also, since it's a multi-scale guitar, it has a 25 and a half inch scale length on the top high E and a 28.3 inch scale length on the low F sharp or whatever you tune it to. In my case, it's a D. And last but not least, this is the copper patina finish, which is kind of this green, moldy looking copper thing, which is just a graphic that's printed onto the body and it comes all in a satin finish. So obviously the thing that's the most striking about this guitar in my opinion is this copper top graphic. Of course, it's not the real copper top. Uh, Ormsby did make a guitar that literally had copper on the top of the body at one point in time, but obviously that would be way more expensive than this one. So this is essentially just a graphic print of the copper top. I think you can get it in kind of this green finish, which of course I picked, or you can get it in blue. I think it looks really cool and I picked this because it looks nothing like any other guitar I have. And I don't think I've ever seen any other brand do kind of like a copper-ish finish, but I could be wrong on that. So now that I've talked about the specs, we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you guys what this thing sounds like in different contexts. So this is all just gonna be soloed guitar tones. So first and foremost, we're gonna start with the bridge pickup for a distorted metal tone. And it sounds like this. Okay, next up, I'm going to activate the split coil, which I believe is the inner coil of the bridge pickup. And we're gonna do another distorted metal rhythm tone and it's gonna sound something like this. Okay. 
So as you can hear, when you activate the split coil, it kind of gives you more of like a Stratocaster, Telecaster-ish tone. Obviously not really in the context that I'm using it since I'm tuned super low and doing kind of like a more genty thing, but you get the point. Next up, I'm gonna to move to the middle position, which is activating both pickups at the same time. And we're gonna try out a clean tone and that's gonna sound something like this. <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna move on to the neck pickup position and we're gonna do a lead guitar tone and that's gonna sound something like this. Okay, next up we're gonna activate the coil split on the neck pickup and we're gonna do another lead guitar tone and that's gonna sound something like this. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm clearly not much of a lead guy, but I did my best. That's pretty much all for this video. I'm really happy with the guitar. I've been playing it a lot since I got it, especially having it in that super low D tuning. It just sounds absolutely ridiculous and it's so much fun to play. I do wanna get a little bit thinner of a string on here. I have it all the way at a 105 at the moment, which is a little too much. I think I would bump it down to like a 95 or a 100 on the low D or something like that. But for now, that's all I had in my little back corner of strings over there, so I made do. But anyways, if you guys wanna know more about the Ormsby Guitars Hype Guitar, go check it out. It's gonna be linked in the description below as well as the pinned comment. You can look forward to seeing lots more of this guitar on this channel, so if you liked how it sounded, be sure to stay tuned. Once again, huge thank you to Ormsby Guitars for sending this over to me. It's been an absolute joy to play and I look forward to playing it much, much more. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, huge shout out to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. I look forward to reading all of your guys' comments and I'll see you guys next time.